Some things are a bit different. They're unique, they're crazy, and from a practical standpoint, maybe even a bit pointless. I love those things. Now, the II Labs Hot Rod Henry from Poland is everything but pointless. It is a 3D printer and a pretty nice one at it. It's got a 35 by 35 by 60 centimeter build space, up to two all metal hot ends, an aluminum and glass heated bed, really nice linear rails, drag chains, and whatnot. And as a 3D printer, it seems to do a really decent job. The pictures on their website don't look quite as nice as the models they showed in their booth, but let's admit it, you're not going to buy this machine for its print quality. These are one-of-a-kind handmade printers that you will drool over for their looks. And at a show where every printer seems to be nothing more than the bare engineering necessities to make it work, one that is styled after a 50s hot rod or, I guess, a fridge, it's going to turn some heads. Mine included. It's fascinating to see how well this relatively simple fridge-style design works for a 3D printer, and the folks from IR Labs even included a few smart details. The filament can either be stored on the back of the printer, like you'd expect it, or in the bottom compartment, from which it is nicely rooted up all the way to the extruder. And as you'd expect from any decent printer these days, it has an LCD display, but also includes a bunch of extra buttons that let you move the printer without having to exclusively rely on that fiddly dial. They should have cleaned off those fingerprints though. Like I said, each one of these is handmade and I'm not sure if this is an official sticker price, but I heard they are something around 5,000 euros, which I guess puts another nail in the coffin of the current MakerBot lineup. So that was a quick look at the ILabs Hot Rod Henry that I kind of fell in love with. Stay tuned and subscribe for more coverage from the 3D Printer 2015 Berlin. See ya!